it's Emily, contributing blogger over at secondarysolutionsblog.com, and today I want to talk about Selly, a platform that allows teachers, students, parents, and other educators to communicate via the web, text message, or the Selly app in a way that's private, safe, and has appropriate boundaries. We all know how much students like to text, so why not harness that power? So to sign up, you start off by going to cel.ly. Once you sign up for this free um, platform, you'll be asked to create cells. Um, and cell could be for each of your class periods, if you moderate a club, if you have a team, you can create a cell for each one so that students and parents and you are communicating with the right group. So I'm going to start a cell here. And I'm going to start a cell for um, English period 2, and I'm in room 804, so I'm going to say 804, English period 2, 804, and I'm in Ventura, California, West. And I'm not going to worry about hashtags. For members, I'm going to make it restricted so that only my students can join. I'm going to create a password, maybe uh, our, our uh, school mascot. I'm going to hide the member list. For chat mode, you can create a curated chat. And this is the kind of chat where all the messages students are going to send are going to go directly to you as the moderator. And um, you can rebroadcast to other people if you want, but everything's going to come to you. And open chat means every message from every student will come to every student. This can cause a lot of messages, but it's ideal for students who are working in lab groups or group projects who really need to be in on everything, but it's a, for a small group. Alert only is when you have a really big group like a team or a, a school-wide announcement or something like that where you want to send something out but you don't want people to be able to reply to you. Um, I'm going to create a curated chat for my class discussions so that I can approve all messages and um, receive all messages, make sure I, I have a good handle on what's happening here. Um, for the cell details, I'm going to keep it private. So I'm going to start my cell. Period 2 is all set up. I'm going to invite students to uh, join my group. So I'm going to click share. And I could either send them a public link where they'll have to put in, click on it and then put in the password. I could send them a golden ticket where they'll just automatically be um, added to my class, or I could just ask them to text at English period to 804 to the number 23559, that's the easiest way, as long as it's okay that they're texting, regular text message rates apply, so if they don't have unlimited or large number of texts, they should not choose this option, they should click the link, and I can share the link uh, through a variety of means. I could also click invite members and then I can enter email addresses, especially for students who don't have as many uh, text messages. Although I find that that's increasingly rare that students don't have text message plans that allow for them to text a lot. Teachers and other educators use Selly for a variety of purposes. The most common use for a whole classroom that I've seen is an interactive wall in which the teacher projects the admin cell and students text in to discuss ideas during reading or video. Other uses include sending safe private messages to clubs, teams, or field trip attendees, creating small study groups or group project cells, and using polling for introduction activities or formative assessment. Here are two ways I can see Sally enhancing my classroom instruction. I could use Sally as an unobtrusive aid during library research. To do this, I create a cell for my classes when working in the library. While we're all spread out on the computers, stacks, and periodicals, students could text in questions without disturbing the other students. They could ask things like, how do I find the 800 section, or how do I cite a book? Then I could respond quickly and quietly, and when appropriate, I could send frequently asked questions, or just great questions, to the whole class with text, or even with links to the answer, like how to cite a book. I could also see myself using Selly polls as a warm-up or for formative assessment at the end of a lecture. For example, as a warm-up, I could ask students a polling question about last night's reading, like this one from The Great Gatsby. 
Students then could easily use the app or text in to select an answer. This would create an instant graph um, of information for myself and for the students to begin our lesson. Or we could do it at the end of the lecture as formative assessment. So for $5 more, there are other features, including more advanced assessment options. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this cool new classroom tool. Visit us at secondarysolutionsblog.com for more. Thank you.